So EA Sports FC has confirmed that the team of the year this year will be coming out in just under six days from now, meaning that the next or the coming Friday, we will be receiving team of the year. Now, usually what they do every year is they start off with the attackers, then the next week they do the midfielders, then the next week they do defenders. But I have some rumors and people are out there saying that they might just release the whole team of the year this week and they might run for a full week and week or even maybe two weeks which will be ridiculous but a great amount of revenue for ea sports because a lot of people will be buying fifa points or fc points as they like to call it now to open packs and get the team of the year now as team of the year is coming people want to know what are the some tips that you can be utilizing right now with fc24 with your club whether you are starting off in ultimate team or you are a veteran player which players would you want to go ahead and invest in or maybe something like that? So I want to first start off with the investment side of things. Now, of course, what you'd want to invest in is saving as many packs as you possibly can. Uh, try not to open any packs. You know, if you are going into foot champions or something, try to play with your team. If you need to buy a meta player to upgrade your team, do that from the transfer market. But be sure to sell your players before as long as you have any tradable players. Be sure to sell it as soon as you possibly can try to keep an untradeable club because when team of the year drops everybody will be flooding the market with their tradable special cards and cards in general so a lot of the market will go down in terms of every category so if you have any tradable players get rid of that now in terms of like the links in team of the year now you can look at the rumored team of the year and what it can possibly be people are saying you know harry kane uh mbappe holland uh, are going to be the top three and in terms of the midfield we might see jude bellingham rodri bernardo silva and in the back in terms of the male team of the year that is we got ourselves uh maybe firm pong maybe we get um edder militao something like that we get a lot of very great meta players that can be added with the team of the year and we what you want to be focusing on is the links to those players now for example if you want bernardo silva right or if bernardo silva comes out as a team of the year now people would want to link him so looking at high rated portuguese players maybe like the 91 cristiano ronaldo even if he t cr7 gets a team of the year the green card will go up in demand you know the 91 overall is just the demand and supply of the cards will obviously be down because people are going to be opening packs and stuff so buying those links investing in the links to the popular team of the year players will be very beneficial same thing for the women's team of the year now if we get like hansen or patri a lot of those barcelona players looking for spanish female La Liga players and investing in those cards and having them in your team would probably be a best bet for you especially looking at the special cards try to stay away from gold rare variants of the cards too if you are investing in some cards because gold rare commons or gold rare cards will be very common to pack and a lot of people will be getting their hands on them so I would stay away from that but yeah that is going to be my personal opinion on what you guys should be investing in so special cards that have links to potential team of the year players not only that making sure that you save up all of your packs so you do not open it try your best to use your full untradeable team try not to buy players off the market and it should be good to go for team of the year now there will be obviously the two team of the years male and female and a lot of these cards will be in demand so what you want to look out for is maybe some of your milestone objectives that you haven't already completed i know there's one where you have to score a bunch of goals with like a higher rated team as well as uh do like a lot of assists those are like under the milestone the assist mastery and the finishing mastery challenges you can do those as well as try to attempt doing squad battles this weekend even though it might be a grind is definitely something that isn't fun tedious but will make you some extra packs for you a lot of people also have some draft tokens saved up so this is a great time to play the draft have some fun with ultimate team the most you can with this crappy gameplay but have fun with ultimate team and get your rewards so you guys can open as many packs as you possibly can during team of the year now hopefully this video helped you guys out if you guys have any other questions comments or concerns be sure to leave it in the comments below and i'll be sure to answer every single one down there now it's been your boy optage i'll be catching you guys all in my next video goodbye